Hi, I'm Gemma Myrna and I play Carmel McQueen on Hollyoaks. I hear you're having a bit of a tough day. I came from quite a small primary school because um, I was dyslexic and I got sent to a, a certain school to kind of um, get my grades up and that. So then I moved to a high school which was quite a large high school. So the first day was just really daunting and I just, I just never really liked it and never really felt I fitted in. And it's hard to, to meet new people and especially in certain schools when they've all come together with friends, I was just like on my own and I just always felt like the odd one out um, and I just, I, I just wasn't that sort of young person where I had loads of friends. When I was about seven, I couldn't really read very well. With dyslexia, you just find it so hard because you can say something, but you just can't put it down on paper and you're not the same as the child that sat next to you at all and you always just feel really thick in a way and that you can't do anything and you just can't explain yourself why you can't do these things. You understand it but you just can't translate it onto paper. That's when the bullying starts because the kids are like oh you're just really stupid and you can't do anything and all that kind of thing. So me personally I just became into myself. I was so shy. I wouldn't really speak to anyone and I just couldn't cope with the whole situation and um, I found it really really stressful. I had a fantastic music teacher and he gave me a lot of confidence to um, get on stage and sing and act and dance and things because I was just such a nervous child. He got me on stage and was like, you're singing this, you're singing that. And, you know, the first couple of times it was really, really hard. But, you know, that's where I kind of felt free, really, was when I, I did what I was good at. The schoolwork, you know, I, I just always felt it was really difficult for me to to be good at it, but getting on stage, um, I just loved it. It was it gave me a great feeling. On my first day in Hollyoaks, um, I remember coming in for my makeup test and everyone was just really lovely. Um, I felt for the first time it's um, I really fitted in. It's interesting when you, you're somewhere where you, you're doing something that you love and so is everyone else and everyone's really happy. Once I joined Hollyoaks, it was just, I just felt at home straight away. Well, the first friend I probably made was at the auditions was probably Jenny Metcalf because we all auditioned together in a big group. Because I've been here for five years, when we get new cast, I like to be kind of the mum in a way. I kind of like to look after people and just make sure they're happy and and stuff like that. You know, with with us as as the McQueens in a way, like Georgie, who's younger. Um, me, Nicole and Georgie are very close and I do feel like a responsibility to, to look after even though she's only a couple of years younger than me. I like doing that with all the kind of new cast because it's, you know, it's so daunting to join a show like this and, and seeing people that you've probably watched on TV um, and then the next minute you're working with them, um, it, it's really, really hard. So um, it's one of them things about being you know, nice and just making sure that they're, they're happy and if they need anything or need any advice, you know, there's someone that they can come to talk to. Going through a massive change in your life, my one bit of advice is to be true to yourself and if people start picking on you because you, you're different, just always remember that if you're different, it's a good thing. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to wrap this up. You know, I've got a new client coming in for a full body wax.